Listen close, what is this? Is it heartbreak? Is it truly what it feels like? What it sound like? What it's truly at the essence? Sharp teeth in the chest, cancel all in the breast of the beat. Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy King Brady back with another video today. And today we're going to be doing my top 10 favorite cartoons of all time in my lifetime so far. This is all opinionated, so I don't want y'all to be like, oh, this is better. I why isn't this show here? Why isn't this show in the... I'm just here to do my top 10 list, so... And I guess we'll start it off, you know? At number 10, I have The Simpsons. Now, The Simpsons, I didn't really watch much of it because, you know, I'm 16. I didn't watch much of it in my childhood. I don't watch much of it now, but I've watched the movie. I've watched a couple seasons. And it is a good show, obviously. It's one of the most iconic cartoons ever. I had to sneak it in here at number 10, I guess. For a lot of people, it'll be like in the top five, top three is this and that. So my bad if it's a little too low. I, I just didn't watch it that much. And at number nine, we have the Rugrats. How could you not include the Rugrats? What an all-time cartoon. I think it was on Nickelodeon. And I got to be honest, I did watch this a good bit in my childhood. It was a great show. I don't have much memory of it, but I know that I definitely watched it. I see a lot of clips on YouTube and stuff, and the Rugrats is definitely a W. I remember when I was a kid with, with my family, you know, the Rugrats. Because as a kid, TV was all that I really had. So all I did was watch TV and the Rugrats. Just a go-to show. It was always good. I loved it. And at number eight, we have Tom and Jerry. How could I not include Tom and Jerry? Oh my God. I don't know how many episodes I've watched. I would turn it on the TV and I would never see a duplicate episode. And it was always entertaining. Like, you didn't need sound or talking. It was always really good. Like, you know, obviously, Cat and Mouse, you know. It was always just a good show. You know, the cat always got whooped. So, you know, sucks to suck. Definitely had to sneak it in. It could have been higher, but as I ranked my top 10, I, it couldn't have went higher, to, to be honest. And at number 7, we do have Jimmy Neutron. Oh, my God. Jimmy Neutron was... An amazing show. I don't know. I've watched it a lot when I was a kid. I watched the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, you know, with him and Timmy Turner. Jimmy Neutron was just a good show, man. Um, I think Sheen got his own show after that, so good for him. But Jimmy Neutron, you know, when I was a kid, it would come on. A lot of these shows are like Nick, so Nickelodeon came in clutch. Jimmy Neutron, it could have went higher, but you know, as I got older, more stuff dropped. I got into more stuff. Jimmy Jimmy Neutron from my childhood is probably like a top three, top five. So definitely a really good show. And at number six, we have a fairly new show, fairly new. Um, I heard about it when it first dropped. My brother introduced it to me and I've watched every episode. It's Rick and Morty. How could you not like Rick and Morty, man? I got the game on my phone, make sure to get it. I think it's called like Pocket Mortars or something. Not sponsored, just letting you know. But Rick and Morty, just what a great show, man. I think the person, one of the people who made Gravity Falls made that, so definitely a good show. Rick and Morty, um, I got it on Hulu over there, you know, shout out to it. Yeah, it's just a really entertaining and funny show to watch, you know, with the family and you know, the grandpa. The, the kid you know go on adventures into space and stuff if you haven't seen it you definitely have to check it out and moving in to our top five at number five i was watching this literally yesterday fairly odd parents you ever just been a kid watching it and you think imagine if i could just wish for anything right like all the stuff that you would wish for there's a lot this show shout out to butch hartman this show, I watched it a lot in my childhood. I would always call it Timmy Turner, not Fairly Odd Parents. So, <laughs> yeah. I think they changed it up and got like a girl in the show now, which I'm not against it. It's just, you know, you got to stick with the OG. Fairly Odd Parents got to be in my top five. It, it, it's a great show. Moving into number four, I feel like I had to give this like a top spot because a couple summers ago, I had to binge watch every single episode. It was like 21 seasons. I had to, and that's South Park. South Park 
is one of the best, funniest shows ever. If I could binge watch 20 plus seasons during my summer, it's a good show. Like, they they went from like low quality stuff to like great quality stuff. There's a lot of good jokes. The humor, obviously, is very controversial, but I like it. It's 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 a good show. You know, you could watch it if you didn't watch it, which I'm assuming you did. At least watch one episode. It's kind of old, so make sure to check it out. And at number three, this is definitely a personal one of mine. Number three, Phineas and Ferb. How could I not put this on here, especially at number three? As a kid, I had Phineas and Ferb like pajamas i had all this stuff i had toys phineas and ferb from when I, I was like three or four was always like my my favorite show disney channel uh, i think it's their first appearance maybe i don't know but phineas and ferb was definitely a go-to show i watched it every day the the movies were great i think i had a video game on it i don't know but the show's amazing i watched it my whole childhood if you haven't watched it, something's wrong with you. Phineas and Ferb, this is definitely a personal one, to be honest, but it just, you know, brings back a lot of memories. It, it's a good show, and that's why it's ranked at number three. Moving on to number two. Number one and two, I think, are easily set in stone for my two favorites. Number two, just, I started watching it, like, when I was, like, 10 or 11. I watched it at least, like, three or four days out of the week, and that's Family Guy. How could you not like Family Guy? It's the best show. Makes me laugh. You know, they got Peter, Stewie, Brian, Lois, Meg, Chris. The whole family. Got Quagmire, Joe. They got everything. They got all the little cut scenes to the thing. You know, it's, it's just a great show. How could you not like Family Guy, dude? Like, Seth MacFarlane doing his thing, voicing multiple characters. And, like, just the way that they do the show and the animations is really good. And, like, their their Star Wars stuff is cool, too. I like how they do that. Just a great show. And if you haven't seen it, I don't know. You need to go watch it. And what you've been waiting for, the number one spot. I watch this. It's on my TV, like, 24-7. While I play my uh, 2K, I got it on. And that is Spongebob Squarepants. Now, I know, I'm 16. They got a lot of people who watch it and they're like 20, 30, something, you know. But like, Spongebob dropped in 99, right? And I was born in 2002. So, from when I was young, I started to, to watch it. And I just always loved it. The humor was always good. The stories were always good. They have the most iconic episodes. The most I iconic memes. It's just an ultimate great show. I don't know if you've never seen it, which I'm pretty sure everyone who's watching this has seen at least one episode. It's really good, you know? I think next month is his birthday episode, so that'll be cool. SpongeBob, they have so many games, memes, videos, all this stuff on them. They got Krabs, Woodward, Plankton, uh, Patrick, Gary, you know, all the characters. And just the storylines that, that they put together is good. People say that, like, after season three, it fell off. I could still watch it, you know, it's still Spongebob, it still hits home. So, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and comment down what your list may be, or what shows I forgot about, or what shows you think should be higher. I appreciate y'all for watching. See y'all later.